All right, another kit from China. Uh, this one is pretty simple, I believe, in circuitry, but it has very, very uh, crazy description. Um, let me let me read it here so I get it right. It is a just a second here. It says it's a NE555 analog raindrop circuit kit bistable hypnotic module easy DIY kit <laughs> raindrop circuit so uh, I don't know if it's supposed to sound like a like raindrops blip 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 or bistable hypnotic module so let's get uh, let's get it built and see what it sounds like uh, let's see let's first take a take a look at it uh, put it in my tray here uh, Don't you love these Ziploc bags that you can never open? All right, so um, circuit board. Here's the 555 timer, uh, potentiometer, uh, power connector, a resistor, uh, two capacitors, and a, another I guess there's a magnet in the other resistor and can't get this. It is really stuck up there. There we go. Now this says speaker R. <laughs> so it's the right speaker out of something. They've definitely repurpose this <laughs> um, Wow anyway there's a little dome there and there's some wires sort of sticking out so um, I think I'm gonna have to look at the picture there's a picture of this thing assembled on the web uh, on the eBay site that I bought it from so uh, there is no Oh, here we go. There's silk screen on, on the other side. There we go. So I can build it. All right. So the uh, power connector goes here. The uh, potentiometer goes here. The IC goes there. The resistors look like they're both the same. They go there. Yeah, okay. Well, let me get this thing built and... Um, hmm. <laughs> Let's see what it sounds like. Pretty strange. All right, so we have uh, all the parts on it now. Um, the only thing uh, left to do is uh, hook up the speaker, which goes across those two little wires, those two holes there. So there's a red wire and a black wire here, and I'll stick that those on, and we'll power this thing on. I okay. Um, here it is, uh, all put together, and I uh, have a little uh, connector here that I can plug in. It's one of those small little ones. I'm not even sure how many millimeters that is, but put that on there. And let's make some kind of guess of what kind of voltage to put on this thing. Let's say, um, oh, let's try 5 volts. Okay, 
Okay, and we will put five volts on and see if we hear anything. the voltage a little bit. Put it about seven volts. Can you hear that? Did it? Did it? So I guess that's supposed to be raindrops. Let's uh, see if we can't speed this up a bit. this up close to the camera so you can hear it. I don't know how hypnotic that is. Let's go really fast. Well, I can't say I'm impressed with this kit. <laughs> I guess it does what it's supposed to do. Um, it was a dollar and a half. I'm not even sure it's worth a dollar and a half. Uh, wow, this is a really bad speaker. It'd be interesting to play some music through the speaker and see how bad it sounds. It's, uh, here's my ruler. Speaker is, uh, Half, about half inch, 10 millimeters. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh well. I don't think uh, my money was well spent on this one, but uh, it certainly is an interesting title to a project, a uh, raindrop hypnotic uh, DIY kit. Okay, uh, I was kind of curious what the waveform looked like on this uh, raindrop uh, simulator here. So let's uh, turn it on. I think you can hear that. Sorry, my dryer's going going on in the background. I hope that doesn't add too much noise. Um, so you can hear it's going. Uh, let's uh, hook up a scope onto uh, the speaker lead. Nope. And let me fire it once. There we go. All right. Now I can turn off the turn off the noise. All right. So um, there's the waveform. It's basically just giving a negative going pulse and a positive going pulse. So it's just letting loose. Um, so the positive going pulse is probably the 555 and the negative going pulse is when it lets go and the speaker speaker relaxes and puts a negative voltage on it. Um, let's see here. Let's uh, zoom in a bit. Well, you can see there's uh, let me just back off. So it's, it's click click, click click, click click so we're going to zoom into one click click. Oops. So one pulse and the other pulse. So nothing too exciting. Uh, no waveform shaping or anything. It's just a just a pulse that's letting loose. So the other thing that I wanted to do in this video is to uh, rip apart that speaker. I'm really curious what that speaker looks like. Uh, so let's do that. Um, I'll just remove the speaker from the circuit <laughs> and um, figure out how we can open this thing up. There's a 
There's an easy way or hard way. Let's see. Let's uh, get a screwdriver into this thing. Seems like there's a. Oh dear. Nothing. Um, well, there's a seam in the back, or certainly a seam here. Let me uh, let me hack on it a bit, and I'll come back. All right, <laughs> I did some damage on it. Uh, let's see. Let's clip this wire here. Get rid of that, and there's the speaker. Um, can I remove it from its mount? Oh, maybe. Let's see. Brute force. I don't think so. I think, uh, I think this plastic case is actually part of the speaker. So the, um, the magnet is held with glue in a hole, and then the actual uh, paper cone and with a little plastic, uh, oops, a little plastic uh, dome is held in place. So, yeah, I don't think it opens up much more. Let's see. Let's see if we can remove the back. Uh, there we go. So normal construction, it's got a it's got a coil that's uh, glued on to the dome and then uh, that coil rides in a groove on the uh, on the magnet. So it's just tiny, not very good, not very high quality. <laughs> to say the least. Um, yeah, there we go. So, here's the, uh, here's the coil, and it's glued on to this paper, I assume it's paper, plastic disc. There's a little, uh, a little dome, that's a little hard, hard plastic dome ever had speakers and a small child you know they like to walk over to your speakers and push on that push on that dome and ruin your speakers um, and our magnet yeah it's just a little um, stamped metal cup with a magnet glued in the center of it so, there you go